The diagram above shows a trapezium. Calculate the length BC, giving your answer correct to one decimal place. So we need to calculate this length here. Now, in order to do that, what we need to do is to draw in a line here, which is a right angle, and we call that N. So we know that this bit here is 4.7, but what we need to do is find this length here. So using Pythagoras to calculate NC, we know that this length is 3.4 because this one is 3.4. Then we can say that DC squared is equal to NC squared plus ND squared or DN squared. So that's going to be 3.8 squared, the longest side of the right angle triangle, is equal to NC squared, what I want to find, plus 3.4 squared. Therefore, 3.8 minus 3.4 squared, 3.8 squared minus 3.4 squared is equal to NC squared. And then NC squared will be equal to, if you work 3.8 squared minus 3.4 squared on your calculator, you're going to get 2.88. To find NC, you need to take the square root of 2.88, which is approximately equal to 1.697. So, in order to find the length of BC, we know it's going to be BN plus NC. So, BN is 4.7. We get that from here. So, it's 4.7 plus my answer from that, which is 1.697, which will give me 6.397. Question says one decimal place. So, that 9 will make that 3 or 4. So, the final answer is 6.4 meters to one decimal place. So this has been a video to help to show you how to find a missing length of a trapezium. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.